It's another week, another time as well for the talk show, and this is indeed the platform where we are celebrating leaders that we say they're doing great things, but they're not known too much. But we're saying, can we have a, ce a celebration time uh, to talk about them? And I want to give credit to Precious Neno Miner, who mentioned a lady by the name Damaris Tall. And, well, we don't know what she does, but I tried to look at the profile a little bit, and I know she's doing a lot, and she's going to tell us more about what has been going down uh, in her environment. Damaris Tall? Yes. Welcome Mina, to the thank show. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Absolutely. So, Precious Neno Miner believes that you're one of these leaders that needs to be talked about. I don't know what you do, but before you tell us what you do, uh, probably that could be then could en encompass uh, your introduction about who you are yeah. and what you're doing currently. Well, um, thanks to her. I have never met her. So, wow. I plan after that this. That means perhaps. you're a leader. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, yes. after this, maybe I'll, I'll go back. Um, did she leave her contacts? If well, she did, then... I'll connect you on uh, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then I can go look for Absolutely. her and, and you say thank mm. you. Mm. I wouldn't know why, what she's through. But maybe, yeah, as we say. Uh, my name is Damaris Tokimondo. I'm married to Mr. Kimondo. Uh, we have two children, biological, uh, Grace and Jerry and Jonathan. Oh. Um, Bruce, um, they're both young. One is nine, one is five. And um, we have other children mm -hmm. that we support, mm -hmm. many children that we support in high school, in primary. And uh, if you come to my house over the holidays, mm -hmm. yes, we, There's no space. we are full house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, All right. So um, I'd say I run on, I guess what she meant is because I run a foundation. A foundation. Yes, that uh, Rahab Foundation. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it rescues young girls from prostitution. So, um, Rahab Foundation, Rahab is Foundation. that another name for you? No, it comes from the Bible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, about, you know, the lineage of prostitution in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Bible recognizes prostitution, by the way. Oh, that's new. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, that girl, that lady Rahab, mm -hmm. is where we came from. Not that God does not condemn prostitution. Mm -hmm. It's just that now we work with such young girls. Mm -hmm. And um, we've rescued it quite a number of girls. Mm -hmm. We have a safe house. We're mm -hmm. opening one in Wasingishin. Mm -hmm. We planned to open one in Mombasa because there's so many people from Mombasa, mm -hmm. but it didn't go easily. Mm -hmm. So we decided we'll move back to Drift to Valley. So what we do with these girls, we have three categories. We have what we call without walls, where we get these girls who've been changed. They go back to the streets and get us more girls. It becomes easy. Initially, it would be me going to the streets and trying to get them, but no, they would they would how do I they would rebel? Okay. Because they wouldn't understand. They they think I don't understand them. Mm -hmm. So once we get the girls who've been reformed, going back to the streets, then it's easier for us to get the girls. So mm -hmm. it's been like that. We get them from countrywide. Okay. We work with very many institutions. We mm -hmm. work with the government. We work with the police. We work with the community. Okay. The leaders. And uh, it's not been easy. In fact, our, that's actually probes to the next question. How did you start this? Knowing very well, as you're saying, it, the challenge would be them even trusting you that you're there for their good. Yeah, I agree. Um, what happened is uh, about 20 years ago something, um, back in my village, a girl was defiled and raped. Mm. She was nine. That's She's like happening. my Yes, mm -hmm. that's like my daughter's age. Mm -hmm. She was sentenced. Uh, she would I mean, things happened, the guy was sentenced and all that. Mm -hmm. Then, in between that process, I was the one helping them out. I learned that actually, where she was at that point is, is a kind of a brothel where, and mm -hmm. that's in the village, yeah? mm. where girls just come in and they get men. And I realized these girls were about. This is in a village? Yes. Brothels village. in a village? Yes. Okay. So I realized they're young girls. Mm -hmm. I mean, Hardly 10, hardly 15. Oh so yeah. they were arrested and brought to Kirigiti. Mm -hmm. Of course, they went through the entire process, mm -hmm. going to courts, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. They got to Kirigiti. So I followed them up and I realized, ah, yeah, there's a place called Kirigiti mm -hmm. where young girls are taken for fences. So I decided to visit Kirigiti and it became my second home. Mm -hmm. I would go there and find out why would these girls get arrested? What mm -hmm. would happen? Mm -hmm. And when they leave Kirigiti, what happens? Mm -hmm. That's when I started the foundation because when they leave Kirigiti, they're there for three years. Mm -hmm. What happens? They go back to the society. But remember, this is Kenya where yeah. we have stigma. 
and everybody would start saying, oh, so and so, this person Absolutely. has been here. Absolutely. Yeah, they would not even want to know why you went to jail in the first place. Such a young age, Damaris. Yes, at 9, 10. And let me just, forgive me because I'm trying to understand this. Yes. Is this happening between them as the young children no. or is it adults? Adults. And that's the part I get annoyed with this law because it's the girls who get arrested. The men get away with it. I don't, I've never seen any man arrested when those girls are in Kirigiti today. Just the girls? Yeah. I mean, the You're men right. are never arrested. Like I think in my village, thank God, in my village, it's very hard to hear of a defiled child. Mm. They all know that Damaris will come. <laughs> so we never had, we've, the last time was... And when you go, the man as well gets in? Yes, it's the man. I actually make sure that... The, <laughs> I, I don't... The girl, I bring them to the safe that's house. That's needed, by the way, yes. because this is a mature person yes. who should be directing so I the take child. the girl to the safe house mm -hmm. instead of Kirigeti, mm -hmm. and I take the man to jail. So okay. it doesn't happen in my okay. village anymore okay. because they know Damaris will come for that's us. That's good news, at least. <laughs> so, yes. So, um, so that was one of the things that we did. So mm -hmm. what happens in Kirigeti? When you come out, mm -hmm. there's no place to go. Yeah. People find that then to when you let you back exactly, society. and then when yeah. you hear the stories, mm -hmm. actually, what sent them to prostitution is poverty. Oh. There's one girl uh, who took me to her house. That mm -hmm. time, we, she just was just brought to the safe house, and uh, mm -hmm. when she came in, the counselor tried asking and all that, and she said, "Before we try and put me here, yeah. can we go home?" We said, "Yeah, why not?" Mm -hmm. Drove to the village to the girls, and the brother was dying, literally oh, dying. No. And, and I forgot about this girl, like remembered the boy. Yeah. I said, let's rush the boy to the hospital. Let's rush the boy. Let's not even think about it. Mm -hmm. Literally, mm -hmm. that was her first time in the streets. She so needed 100 shillings only to take the boy to, take the boy to the hospital. hospital. That's the reason why, That's she, was the reason the why she was in the streets. Oh, sad. So I took the boy. We went to the hospital. And after the boy got better, she now asked me, okay, so I'm done. Can I go back to school? Oh. <laughs> so I was like, actually, yes. We so you're saying there are reasons why they go yes. to the streets and Many one of, of them is poverty. Many of them is poverty. Mm. Many, the others is their mothers, their bringing. Okay. You get to 16, you're being told you're now a big girl. We do not have food. Mm. Go to the streets. Go get us food. And is it that their mothers as well? The mothers, in the system yes. as well? We or? also have some of the girls who voluntarily run to us mm -hmm. because their mothers force them to enter into the oh. prostitution okay. and so that they can share the money. There's a case of a girl where it's they both share the mother and the daughter mm -hmm. the same man. Mm -hmm. And so it, it, it becomes a bit tricky because oh. even then I go back to the law. I go back to courts and it, it, it takes forever, especially to go to courts. So we end up, I mean, the cases we've taken to court and to today as we're talking, mm -hmm. no ruling has been done. I mean, that's crazy. I'm, I'm even trying to think, how would you rule Thank against you. this? And, and, and it costs us a lot of money to get lawyers. We don't have, in Kenya, we don't have where we have lawyers who come up and say, we will do this, we will support society, the girl child, yes. or we will support the boy child, mm. and, and for the society. We don't have that section. Mm. I wish we had that section. Okay, Damaris, let me ask you, how bad is it? It's bad. Because is it, is it something that is just secluded in some places? No, 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 no. It's bad. Mm. Go to Mombasa. Child trafficking is real. It's so real. Crazy numbers. Yes. The numbers from Mombasa that we get, um, we, we spoke to the government in, of Mombasa. Mm. And uh, thank God, yes, we were still going to get a safe house from the governor there. But I guess with politics, it hasn't happened. But I <laughs> know at some point he gave us a house. Okay. Uh, he gave us a house because he understands his, mm -hmm. actually it's from his constituency okay. that we get a lot of this. Okay. So I guess with this politics and all that, we haven't set it up, but mm -hmm. the house is there. He's mm -hmm. given us a house, he's given us a compound and all that. Mm -hmm. So we hope to work towards that. Wow, that's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. But that's one of the governors who perhaps understands mm -hmm. that this is happening. Mm -hmm. What Kisho has done the same. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just waiting for all these things to come up because they would understand. But hardly do we have many in Wasingishu. We get more from Western and... Uh, more of, uh, we, we have a few, and, and, but crazy enough, the, w the many girls we get are from Machakos. Mm -hmm. How, I don't know. Machakos. Yes, we get a lot you know, from I thought Machakos. this would be more of those Nairobi. communities we normally even tell and listen. No, 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 no. They get the married. The number of girls yeah. for some reason is because Machakos, um, the one thing I've been saying and advocating is they need to make the girls realize that school is more important oh, than anything else. Okay. Yes. Okay. So as much as we're near Nairobi, mm -hmm. yeah. Forget Nairobi. Nairobi, it's common. We get them in Kibera. But these ones of Nairobi, 
is plus criminal. There's a criminal part of it. So hold on, I'm just wondering there about, because I had a story that there's something that happens in Kibera. A lot. With young kids. <coughs> yes. And forgive me for this. Um, do you even get to those places where yes, they we do. are? Yes, we do. We do. We do. Especially in Kibera, uh, the worst bit with Nairobi is, apart from them just being prostitutes, mm -hmm. they're also thugs. So it becomes very hard. Oh, yeah. yeah. Recently, we just burned a very yes, young Yes, at 17 Beautiful year old. Girl. Yes. Thank you. They have guns. They have very few accept to, to, to reform. They ask you. There's a girl we tried helping. Um, you know what we do, we have, in our safe house, we have some courses we do, bakery, um, tailoring, mm -hmm. hairdressing. So she asks you, how many cakes will I sell for me to get 10,000 shillings? You're like, five cakes. And at times you don't even get those clients to buy those cakes. Mm -hmm. So this one asks you, all I have to do is just walk to the streets with a gun and I'll get 20,000 in one minute. Mm -hmm. And so some of the girls actually is a... Uh, some in Kirigiti is because of that as well. Okay. Um, a lot of criminals are there. And then we also have, and you know they work with the ones in Langata. Mm -hmm. Not just, they just don't work alone. Okay. And, and the men, these cartels, mm -hmm. um, which most of the time we've reported to the government and all that, uh, work with these young girls. You know it's very easy for you so to pass. So they are cartels of men yes. that recruit these girls. These young girls. And the, what happens is, you know you wouldn't, Hardly, if a kid walks through the, um, you know, going to the mall, mm -hmm. perhaps, and yeah. they have their handbag, and you, yeah. can you see it's a small kid, yeah. you wouldn't even have time to search. Go uh, to mall today, absolutely. You'd not fi t find time to search this young girl. <laughs> but that <laughs> girl is carrying bullets. And oh. all they have to do is, I'll pay you 2,000, just take it to that guy. Bad luck, they get arrested. Good luck, they walk through. You oh. get to, we have those kind of, we've had, we've had, few incidences in our safe house of mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. we've, we've so those ones, when we get them immediately, we just take them back to jail and they go to Kurigiti after three years. Mm. Perhaps they'll have reformed if they do. Okay, you're saying it's bad and the, the, the numbers then are very big. Yes. How are you dealing with this? Because now I'm looking at you <laughs> and your foundation. Are the other foundations helping you out nah. or how are you doing this? We don't even have, I don't, I've not seen any other foundation mm -hmm. that supports young girls in yeah. prostitution. One is because you condemn them. Even yeah. the churches don't support us. Apart from my church, mm -hmm. my church supports us. They give us shoes, they give us things. Okay. I won an award last year yeah. from ABLA, mm -hmm. All Africa Business Leaders Awards, yes, I saw that. Forbes Actually, and asked. CNBC. Mm -hmm. They're the ones who've been supporting me. They send stuff from Dubai. They mm -hmm. send uniform. They sell materials. They've sent us clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, those, those are some of the things we get. And then we went into partnership with them. They have universities. Mm -hmm. So once, like the girls we have, You'd be so surprised. We have some girls in <coughs> Kenya High Alliance. Yes, Beautiful, we have. Yes, we do. Nice schools. But mm -hmm. they, nobody knows wow. where their background. They just know. How, how, uh, and they affected in yes, studies, that's why we do, trauma you know, and all those once, things? Once, you know, you've gone through three years mm -hmm. of training and we've accepted you. I would never introduce them as any other thing apart from my daughter. In fact, some people don't believe. When I tell them I have an 18-year-old daughter, <laughs> like, uh, no, it's a lie. Uh -huh. Then you don't go further. You just say, this is my daughter. And she, f she ends up feeling home. Mm. Th the ones who really, really successfully managed to pass exams in class 8 and entered national schools, they stay in my house. Wow. Now, my house, mm -hmm. not the safe house. Mm. They come live with us. Wow. Over the holidays, they close, they come home. So they become part of us. My children know those are the elder sister ch sisters, you know. <laughs> So, <laughs> how are your kids taking it and Mr. Kimono? They don't <laughs> know. My children don't know. My, ch just, my children just know Auntie So and so Kim or oh. So and so is here. You okay. know, she and they get along and they move on. Mr. Kimondo has had to be supportive <laughs> when he got <laughs> married to me. By the time he was getting married to me, I already had oh. a few girls. Okay. And so, when there was a time he came to my house in Eldoret and I was wondering, well, how come you have so many girls in the house? I mean, he couldn't figure mm. it out. So I had to explain that these are girls I support, and this is it, and this is it. So by the time I'm moving in, he had, all, he had that in mind. And he also has a heart to of giving, so both of us do this. Okay. And um, so back to, back to what the, the, the kids, this, yes. these kids uh, who we get. Mm -hmm. At times, um, we get very good, very, very good. Some are in Form 4 right now, mm -hmm. two are in university. Yes. Yes, and they're doing very well. That's good news. Quick question: How how is the response 
is there a lot of support locally or are yeah. you getting a backlash oh, out of this? Please. We don't even get support. Let's, but their parents, after they finish three years with us, you want to take the child back. They tell you, no, no, please, just keep that child. Just keep the child. When you're done, like, they're ready to get married, <laughs> take the dowry, <laughs> I'll just come and help you see off the girl. Wow. So we have those kind of parents. So some of them recognize that what they were doing is wrong. Yes. And they ask you to keep keep keeping the girls. They, some girls don't want to go back to their houses, so yeah. we just stay. Mm. But we don't get a lot, a lot of support from, especially the churches, mm. who I say they should be the first ones to come and say, yeah, you know what, let's not condemn these girls. Yeah. Let's not tell them, you know, what you're doing is wrong. Mm -hmm. But you see here we have a, say, 14-year-old. And uh, the age we are in right now, the era we have technology, parents mm -hmm. not being there for their children, you know, mm -hmm. this is part of what contributes to these children going mm -hmm. to the streets. And we also have the society where we make them believe that you need to have this kind of lifestyle. Yeah. So the child will look for money in whatever Which way. Yeah. That's why the word sponsors comes in. Mm -hmm. Because they run away from home. Mm -hmm. uh, they might not be the ones through poverty. Yeah. But because they want to live a certain kind of... Mm -hmm. I want to drive a car by 20. Mm -hmm. How am I going to do that? run to the streets. And if you walk through Koinange, because half, half the time we do a lot of Koinange between 9, mm. nine to 11. Nowadays well, I, I try to go in the street myself, uh, yes. We've tried a lot. Nowadays we're in Westlands mm -hmm. to try and recruit them. There's so many nowadays, not just closer yeah. to homes. And, uh, yes. They, they, and when you look at these girls, when you engage them, they're not even 18. They're not 19. They're 16, 17, because they oh. don't have IDs. The worst bit is they work with the police. So they cohorts together. Exactly. So what happens is, I mean, in, I, I went to Rwanda to do some work in Rwanda because mm -hmm. the word was Africa. Yes. So I have to like go. Visit so I went to country. Rwanda and I was asking uh, some, so the minister there for the youth, how come they don't have prostitutes in, Uga in Rwanda? Oh, there are none. You will never find it. I've not been there. Actually, <laughs> you will <laughs> never find. And if you do, it's top high end and you would never know. Oh, yeah, you cannot know. Oh, yes, yes, you wouldn't even notice. So what hap I asked her, and she said, it's because the police who's assigned to that road, they have a way of, you know, the way we assign them to Westlands. Yeah. We'll have to explain what that girl would be doing in the streets at that time. So the police knows it's my fault. Mm. Should they find search. search in the streets? In our case, <laughs> I bribe you. Perhaps 200 bob. I go on with my business. I, in fact, you protect me. We've had very, we've had a case. It's still under police investigation. Mm -hmm. A boy died, and uh, he's being buried. We buried him recently. Two boys died. We buried them recently. The same girls are the ones who put, you know, you go for a drink. They're very mm -hmm. young girls. Mm -hmm. They put something in your drink. But I guess because they don't know their contents. So they, they, they just want to incapacitate you exactly. so they can take whatever. And they died. They call it mchele. I yes, the mchele in Kenya. Now, yes. <laughs> but these are young girls. You see, you wouldn't find harm. In, and girls of today don't grow as much as, as we used to grow. You would know a 17-year-old yeah. in our days. Absolutely. That is, it's hard to tell a 17 and a 15. They all look 20-something years. I don't know what they're you know. eating. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> it becomes a bit hard to even recruit, even to bring them back to the safe house. Okay. Tomorrow but we have very good successful stories as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, I wanted you to tell me one that you really celebrate out of it. But <laughs> before then, I'm thinking about this man. Yes. This man who goes to a 10-year-old, 11-year-old. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that perversion? What's what's happening? Is it that they can't get a suitor? Or I what is this? What have we found out? Because I can't I guess it's this. Tell it. The few men we've, we've had to ask is, they find them very naive without diseases, mm. and uh, they call them, they, okay, they have a word called latest, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So if they went through the older ones, they're scared. Those ones are too... They're too exposed. Too exposed <laughs> with medicines, you know, <laughs> with, with cameras. Oh, and by the way, they, you should listen to their stories. You uh -huh. should listen to these girls' stories. You will laugh your heart out. Because most of them tell you how they lure the men. Mm -hmm. Most of them tell you how many men. There's one... Oh, of a hundred men, she she lost count at some point, and Whoa. she was about twelve. She was turning thirteen this year. Thirteen, a hundred. Yeah, at some point she lost count. She had reached about a hundred and something. She lost count. 
So my goodness, yes. <laughs> this is crazy. Yes, yes, it happens, and it's and so real. The earlier we accept that this thing is real and it's in our society, and we can talk about it. Yeah. You know, I've gotten a lot yeah, of Yeah, I'm actually feeling like this is a taboo. I don't know how <laughs> my audience will receive this. <laughs> yeah, and, and we don't talk about it. Yes, it's real. We've even had now we are starting, what I'm starting in Rift Valley is teenage mother's yeah. safe house. Mm -hmm. Because now we've had cases where by the time they get to us, it was wrong abortion in the process. There mm. was wrong abortion. The child was so naive. There was a wrong abortion yeah. done. In, in Kibira, it's so rampant. Abortion is like every day. It, it happens. It's like a normal business, you know, in Kibera. But professionals doing this? Can give me, no, how, please? Is this done? And you see, even if you report, nothing will be done. Mm. Uh, Eldoret, we don't have prostitutes per se. We have teenage mothers mm -hmm. who don't end up going back to school. So that's one of the things. Yes, between 18, between 13, 14, 15, 16, mm -hmm. there are many, mm -hmm. many in numbers. Mm -hmm. And that's how we end up with street children. Ah, because yes. they've just been released yeah. out. So if, if, if we open that safe house in Eldorad, which we plan to do it sometimes next month, we'll now have all these teenage mothers coming in. We support them. Mm -hmm. Instead of you going to the streets, because if you go to Nairobi right now, it's, they're all back in the streets with <coughs> small, small children on the back. Mm -hmm. It's six in the morning. It's raining with this baby at the back. And it's a teenage mother. Yeah. You know. You know, I know you've told me about the successes of even the girls who are in university, which is a very good story yeah. to hear that they could recover and get back to themselves. Now, my other question would be, what drives you? You don't get tired out of all this because, you know? The word of God. Okay. The word of God. Mm -hmm. And and for some, I, at some times, we don't even have 2,000 shillings to buy sugar for these girls. And, mm -hmm. and you need to bake cakes. You need to sell these cakes. Mm -hmm. And this is a society where you cannot go and borrow money for girls yeah. and, and, and just say, give me money. We don't have money mm -hmm. in our safe house. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a lot of empty promises. Mm -hmm. You know, I went to Mombasa, there's this rich, rich guy in Mombasa, and, and the promises were high. God, we will support you, we will give you this, we will... That was the end. The following day we sent, they said, I mean, they've never even gotten back to us and all mm. that. So we have so many promise, promises, empty promises. Just through, yeah, but what drives us is when you see a child come, and at night when they're pre, there's mm -hmm. a time I was very sick. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd just come from Nigeria, and um, I got admitted. And the prayer, when I got back, because when I got back, I never told them I'm coming back. Okay. So there's a place we normally have prayer room. Mm -hmm. And I found them at three in the morning, praying. Oh. And, and they were praying and that reminding God that God, she's sacrificed so much for us. You cannot just take her away. It's so not happening. They look at you and now they're doing yeah. what you do. So it's not happening, God. Okay. I mean, I mean, okay. and that alone just made me wake up again and say, you know what? Let's I'm do not this. closing <laughs> this. I'm not closing this. Okay. And the fact that you see a report form of a girl uh -huh. and it says she's very dedicated. Nobody knows. Mm -hmm. I don't even share with the matrons. Wow. She's a very dedicated girl. She does this. She does mm -hmm. this. She does this. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. It's just the best. I mean, it's, this is, this, to me, that's, that fills my heart. Okay. And I know one day, and this is what I tell mm -hmm. my pastor keeps saying, what you do will be done to your same measure. So I know if today my purpose on earth is over, mm -hmm. there's no way my two children will not have support. That I am overconfident that these girls will have finished, mm -hmm. that these ones would come in and say, you know what, she looked after us and all that too. And, and that just, and that has been me. And because again, my mom, we grew up, my mom, Maybe that day there were no foundations we were just yeah. on. Yeah. But we never grew up, the four of us in the house. We grew mm -hmm. up with people. People, people, people all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It how might long? just be different. And how long have you been doing this, Damaris? Eight, Eight years now. I'm going to nine. Still okay, going to Okay, officially. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. There's somebody watching, guys watching and, and wondering how maybe I have this urge in me that I want to start something. Or somebody asking, how can we help Damaris in whichever the way that we can. Maybe they have yeah. a lot of sugar, maybe they want to, oh yes. I don't know, but we, probably We have a website, yes. and um, this is Kenya for you. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, um, mm. recently, uh, we, it was the first, I, I don't know whether I'd call it a mistake, but it was just the first post in my entire life of business. Mm -hmm. I asked for support, and yeah. I said, let's get, um, I asked for one sanitary towel, one bar of soup, mm -hmm. one, I guess it was coming to about 450 shillings okay. per child. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, I think I got 10 people support, which all of them were my friends Just or 10? my relatives, yes. Okay. But mm -hmm. that's not the point. Mm -hmm. We put it on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. 
I put it in January 6th, uh, January, I think it was 2nd or something, because we were supposed to do a visit on the 2nd. Mm -hmm. Recently, we had an issue of cyberbullying, yeah. and we are still dealing with it. Mm -hmm. So you're still with that? Yes. As a topic Somebody for just, that's day, a topic for another day, trust yeah. you me. Oh, it's big. It's crazy. Somebody picked up that post, mm -hmm. posted it in a group that we are still dealing with, CCK and Facebook and police and all that, yeah. and said, look at her, she keeps borrowing money. You know, that was one post. If you went to all my posts, the that's the only, only post <laughs> in my life that I've ever had to ask money mm. openly. Charity and because it was January and it was too much, we had so many kids going to high school. Yeah. And it was not cheap. No, no high school will tell you because this girl is this, this, don't mm. pay. Mm. Nobody waives your school fees in this no. country. It was, like it was else. hard in January this year, especially. Mm -hmm. And so when we took that, uh, when the person took, I mean, it was, that is how I was bullied in that group. And, and it was because that same boy had just taken that post and said, going by the recent past, how I borrow money or something, you know. Mm -hmm. So we stopped. I've never had to again ask for funds publicly. But what we say, we've had, we've, the other day I was so shocked. I went, some chick told me, she used to be my friend sometimes back. Yeah. And she knows me from before. I helped her sometimes back, which mm -hmm. I had even forgotten about it. And she asked me, what's your account number? I said, I'm not giving you my account number. What for? <laughs> then she went, <laughs> she went to our page, website, mm -hmm. and I saw some money was credited into our account. And I asked, uh, you know, I kept on thinking, who could it be? Then she said, oh, I've just given you something little. That wasn't little, by the way. Oh, it was good. Yeah, <laughs> that uh, for your foundation and all that. Because she that. believes in what you do and she yes. can see what you do. And she's doing. seen what we do. Absolutely. So we say, please, just go to the website. Mm -hmm. Have a look at what we do or visitors. Yeah. Though because it's young girls, mm -hmm. we really had to avoid, because they also end up feeling stig stig stigma kind of. Yes. Mm -hmm. We also have girls who are HIV and all that. Mm. We've partnered with some hospitals where we don't like, give, we give them ARVs, yes. Okay. And um, we, s we do not want that thing of all of you coming to visit us at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we, if you want, just book an appointment in the website. Write we us an email, say I want to come and visit you guys. We arrange, we know where you are, who you are, what's yeah. your intention. And I mean, if it's goodwill, mm -hmm. you are welcome. Anytime, yeah. come see these girls, come talk to them. We don't refuse. Yeah. We, or the only part we refuse is you coming from that village, going back and saying, I saw so and so. So that now the parents can come over or other people. Yeah, you know, and, and, and she's doing this, she's in this school. When we pick them, which nobody, could be very risky, especially yes, for you. We don't even tell them, we don't even go back telling the society where they are. Mm -hmm. They're just like, oh, Dama picked her, she's in school. Mm -hmm. So most of them don't hardly get to know. Okay. Yeah. So you're not receiving any support because of such, because I want to ask you, you know what, don't let anybody stop you from such no. things. No, no, no. We, you know, giving is, giving comes from the heart. Mm -hmm. And when you give, you don't have to. I actually saw somebody today post um, on Facebook and they said, they mentioned me, and, and I was so worried first because, I mean, <laughs> with all this, hyperbole, <laughs> then I went back to read again, you know, and they had said, when you give, you don't have to tell the whole world you're giving. Oh, yeah. All right. You don't have to. What you do is just come, let us know that you want to visit us, bring the sugar, bring the whatever, whatever yeah. it is, just tell us you want to sponsor one girl. Mm. We will send you credentials, we'll send you everything. We don't even need your money. Post the money to school. Okay. You know, take the money to school, pay school fees directly, and... Uh, uh, whatever it is, you can take it to school. Because we have them in different schools. Mm -hmm. When they close, they come to home. Mm -hmm. What we call home now. Okay. Yeah, so that's one of the ways. The other way is just putting it in an envelope, whatever it is, drop it in our church. I'll pick it from the church or drop it in our home. I'll pick it from there. Mm -hmm. We have one person we've never known to today. Mm -hmm. We're still waiting to see. Mm -hmm. But we get one sack of may uh, potatoes every week. Whoa. But we don't know the person. Whoa, that's lovely. Every week? Yes. We don't know the person. And it's because just dropped but it because it's, it's We've even had to take number plates of this pickup that brings. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> he says, it is, I'm just sent for money. And look, like, okay, could you send us the... said, no, it's not my work to That's tell you. That's real given. That's exactly. Real given. It's not to about today. selfie moment. Let's exactly. Say. To today. Every week, we get a sack of maize. Sorry, if a sack of If you're there and potatoes. you're watching, <laughs> we appreciate you. Thank you yes, so much. Yes, Absolutely. yes, yes. I mean, I, mm. and we've never known who the person is, mm. we've never been, you know, have never even had to, like now, look at the guys in India, uh, mm. Dubai. Mm -hmm. We got like 10 suitcases of clothes. Yeah. I don't know. You don't know who, who donated me. all that. 
I don't know. I just know. <laughs> oh, I'm called by the clearing agent. Hi, hey, what's up? How are you? This is one. So we have your goods. And, and, and when you go, you want to dig and find out who sent them. Demarius, let me, let me ask this because I don't know. Are there any policies that have been put in place to guard our girls? No, not in Kenya. It's there. Some are there. Like, for example, <coughs> one of the things I say in Kenya, when you get arrested as a child, mm -hmm. I've been seeing this, and I wish the chief, it's the chief justice, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this country could listen to me. Mm -hmm. The police, Boynet, could listen to this. Mm -hmm. And just help us with one thing. Yeah. Put a female police in every station to deal with such cases. Oh. Don't give us men. Don't put a man to start searching this girl. I mean, they are the ones who really violate Absolutely. these rules. Mm. Put a woman, put a station, in put a center station, in every station and mm. say, when we get such cases, before they are convicted and taken to court, mm. find out from them, can we take them to a safe house instead of taking them to court? Because there's no law in Kenya that says uh, when you're under 18 and you mm -hmm. found prostitution, mm -hmm. you're supposed to be. I've never seen it in paperwork. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is take them to a safe house. Yeah. Find out how many safe houses do we have. That child needs more of a safe house than a jail. There it's going to harden her more. Exactly. She and she'll, come out, and she'll come out a different person. Absolutely. Put a woman there. Mm -hmm. Put laws that says, okay, what happens? Fine. Let's accept there's a law that says you're not supposed to do this and this and this. Well, I'm good. I've been arrested, taken to police station. Can I be locked up in a children's police? Yeah, I shouldn't be locked up with criminals or gangs of women and they'll defile me more. They'll be more crazy. Exactly. Fact, yes. It has happened to most of our girls. Mm. Then d mm. if I'm arrested on Saturday, I'm a child. Take me to a safe house Saturday and Sunday. Okay, Monday, yeah. pick me up from the safe house, mm -hmm. take, no, me, take to me to court. court. Yes. Because we don't have a jail for children. When you take me to remand, mm -hmm. take me to a kid's remand. Yeah. Teach me as a kid. I could have done a mistake. Yes, I agree. I have done a mistake. Yeah. But take me to where my fellow children are. Don't where take me to where... taking advantage of Exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Then from there, now, when you take me to jail, let me argue my case. Let me... Let, let call us. We have lawyers who we've employed for such cases. Okay. Who will defend that child? It doesn't matter. Mm. As I keep saying... For me, if I'm called from Kakamega, our lawyer will go. Just give us time, the lawyer will get there, yeah. and let them, def especially when it comes to prostitution, let our lawyer go, defend that girl, let us know. And instead of taking them to another jail, bring them to the safe house, because mm. you already know where safe house is. We, we, you give us terms and say, we are giving you this child for the next nine months. Wow. But for as long as there's a court case, you, you bring them and all that. We mm. will do that. Okay. But don't take these kids to through that, that trauma. Yeah. Things, but that is prostitution. But if the child has done criminal cases, you know, those are different. That could Take be them different. to Kirigeti. Okay. But about prostitution and all that, mm. just teenage some mothers. Some don't even know what they're doing. Yeah. They just found the there. Those teenage mothers don't allow a child to go and give birth in a police cell. It's inhuman. It's inhuman. Bring them to the safe house. Mm. It's, it's more of a jail as well, but now a friendly jail in terms of we don't allow you to just go through the gate. There's a bit of care. There's a bit of care. And, and this is a pregnant girl mm -hmm. who's just going through. She doesn't, one, she's a baby carrying another baby. She doesn't understand her emotions. She doesn't understand herself. She's got in herself, perhaps doesn't even know the father of the child. Mm -hmm. So when you take them to jail where you think, and she's about to give birth perhaps even at seven months, eight months, then when the day she's about to give birth, you say there's no car to take you to the nearest clinic, mm -hmm. and the child goes through, the child goes through all that trauma of trying to give birth. And, 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 and you're just there seated as a female or a male. I wonder whether you have children or you forget that one day, there's a scene Carl Engine which I keep using that and mm -hmm. says, Kuni, the, the firewood that is up there doesn't laugh at the one that is. <laughs> oh yeah, because <laughs> it's going to get Because it's going to get, yes. <laughs> so you need to remember that you have children. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't have, your children will have children. Your sister will have children, your Absolutely. brother will have children, and something will be done. And those men who are doing that to those young well, girls need to yeah. know that one day they'll have daughters. And I pray that one day we come to a society where the man remembers, and this is where my husband comes in. Mm -hmm. He keeps saying, I have a daughter. Yeah. And what I do to somebody else's daughter will be done to my daughter. Same measure, equal measure.
What goes so if, around comes around. Exactly. Absolutely. So if I decide, it's a if I decide to treat so and so's child badly, mm -hmm. those who run to my arms and then I mistreat them, mm -hmm. or I'm giving their funds and eat, mm -hmm. my children are just nine and five. They will not even reach to twenty. And you see, I keep saying at times we keep asking as parents, what happened to my child? Go back, go back to your life and see what did I do to someone else's child. Mm -hmm. It's just coming back to you now, and it might not. Even, the Bible says up to the fourth generation, so it might not be you. It might not be the second. Or the but third, still, catch up, with still it. catch up within the fourth generation. Mm. So what you do today, what you plant today, don't think it's you're planting seed. it for yourself. It's Absolutely. a seed you're planting for your children. Mm. Yeah, your children's children up to fourth generation, you are planting it. So those men who defile these children, you find a 40-year-old man, because they know these girls know them. And when we go to court, interesting enough, somehow they're released. How many, how many battles will I fight? Should it we just expose these people? Probably any way so in some other countries they'll be even be stoned to death. How? This is in my culture, really, we've had people say, let's talk as was is. <laughs> you get in which culture? It's a was matter. In Samburu, what culture do we have there? You'll just get married off as second wife, third wife, fourth wife. And that's it. And that's it. So for, okay, for my right now in my my side. My locality, we hardly, we don't have those stories anymore. But the neighboring society where you find that they'll say, let, let her just get married to, you know, to the person as a second wife. I've had my cousins, I've, gone, I've had to go and pull my cousins out of their marriages. <laughs> Enough times, because they're young. You've been affected directly as well. Directly, yes. I have a cousin, is it a cousin who she calls me auntie? My cousin's baby. Mm -hmm. She was in form two or form three. And, and you know, you go home, you know, you meet in December and you ask, oh, so, so, how is so and so? How is, where is she? She's in what form? Because you know, you think that you're wondering, they've not asked for school. Then you hear she's in someone's house. Then you hear she's in someone's <laughs> house. And that's the time you wake up and however And I'm they dressed, never made a choice. It, they were just taking them. Yeah. So I get annoyed. I go to that house. I make a little noise. And my dad is here and says, you know what, there's much you can do. Yeah. Even if I try, this girl has been shown already. We have this thing in Kalenjin where I don't know whether they think the men will run, will be few, uh -huh. you know, oh. <laughs> or something, or, or the land that you're about to go, you know, is about to. And yeah. we've also made it, for lack of a better word, that, that it's important to get married like ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. So like now, now, now. No, 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 no. Before so men. I mean, if, yes, if get before you men get yeah. 16. Yes. <laughs> so most girls, just Sad. standard seven, actually, yeah, seven, eight. So indoctrinated by those. Yeah, particular of men are yeah. yeah, class okay. seven, eight. In my village, I would still say it still happens, mm -hmm. but now it doesn't happen. It happens officially. Okay. Like they do a whole. You know, I keep even asking those guys. By the time you're seated there, all of you negotiating dowry for mm. 15, 16 years, 17 year old. Yeah. What What do you think? But it happens. It happens. Samburu, Dandi. <sighs> Demaris, yeah. I have a niece. She's yeah. nine. And when you mention That's that, I'm, like, I'm looking at her. Yeah. I don't want anything like that to happen Can we go to Kirigeti? You'll find a nine-year-old. Actually, not Kirigeti. Even Dagoreti here. I want to visit. I think I'm going yes, to talk to Yes, we'll start you. with Dagoreti because Dagoreti is less offense. Mm -hmm. What we call less offenses. Yeah. It's an eight-year-old, seven, nine. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, they have different offenses. Is it the Dagoreti offenses? close to the rules? Yes, somewhere? yes. Okay. I yeah, we have, a, that, we have a police. That, no, no, we have a jail. Not a children's home. Okay. It's a jail. It's a jail for the. Yeah, I think when they saw them with school uniforms, uniform, something yes, like that. Yes. yes, that one. But that's for the less mm. offenses. Less offenses. Okay. And we have now the hard cause in Kirigiti. <laughs> then <laughs> Kirigiti we have is next. <laughs> then. Yeah, Kirigiti is just here. Then because there's a reception, you're received. Mm. Then from the remand, you're received, and then they they decided what kind of offenses, they know now where to send you. If it's just prostitution and all that, after you stay there, you come to my place. Mm. So we decide from there where okay. where you go. Okay. Yeah. So please visit, yes. Don't come empty handed. That one I can, I can come to say so. No, no, no. <laughs> and if you're watching, kindly help me go there. I, don't, I want to go in a big way because you know, it's important <laughs> as well to give. Damaris, time yeah. is not on our side, no but problem. this has just been a nice conversation to have. Thank it's you. a talk show. It's not yes, a hardcore interview or anything of that yeah. sort. Yeah. And I think it's one of the most mellow ones because it was really touching on some other yeah. parts in our, in our hearts as well. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching the, the talk show. And Damaris, I, I don't know what to tell you, but thank you so much for coming. Yeah, and thank, thank you so much as well to our friend Mina uh, for recommending her as well. And indeed, you're not wrong. Indeed, <laughs> we need to celebrate you and thank keep you. doing what you're doing. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank and you. when you give, I think one of the lessons I've taken home, you don't have to show it off. Yes. 
just give and let it go. Yes. That pickup guy, I, I, I kudos to him. I wish, I, mean, I wish we could. <laughs> Nine years later, I still <laughs> wish I could. There'll be more pickups after this, probably. Thank you. you. Know, never thank mind you. about it. Thank yes. you. Thank you very much. So thanks so much. That's the talk show for now. Till next week, we shall be celebrating another one. And we are going to Kirigeti. <laughs> <laughs> Karibuni sana. See ya. Thanks so much. Thank you very okay. much.